We all know the health benefits of eating a good amount of fruit, but some are just a little bit fancier than others. With advancements in science, researchers are creating a new generation of food that we've never seen before, and it can get a little bit pricey. From only the finest melons in Japan that are sent as gifts, to places where fruit might not even be affordable. Here are the most expensive fruits in the world. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 11, the Densuke Black Watermelons. There are some rare black watermelons out there that are pretty expensive coming out of Japan. The Densuke Black Watermelons come from the island of Hokkaido and can sell for as much as 2,000 to 5,000 US dollars each. So they gotta be pretty good, right? They're well sought after for their unique sweet flavor and can only be grown during a certain period of time in northern Japan. The island is known for cold weather during winter, which makes them hard to grow. They seem to do well with certain soils found in the region that's known for its volcanic activity. There's a very limited supply for those seeking this unique melon and it's only available for once a year. They've also become popular as gifts since it has a high price. People who eat these save the seeds and hope to sell them or eat them. Canada has even tried selling them for cheaper prices and received mixed impressions. It's possible the best ones are just grown straight in Japan. Number 10. The Cocoa Fruit In case you didn't know, chocolate comes from this fruit and it's been one of the most profitable discoveries in the history of fruit. There's plenty of ways to go about eating it, but what's inside is what makes it a little bit more expensive. These are found deep within the jungles of Central and South America. It's the beans inside though which produce the famous commodity known as chocolate. The fruit itself is also considered to be a superfood and can help all kinds of things. Contain high levels of flavonoids, it boosts all kinds of health benefits for the heart. South America is known for producing some of the best chocolate in the world because this is often where the cocoa can be found growing naturally. However, in the near future, it's believed that chocolate will someday begin to rise in price due to limited areas where it can be grown. Places in Western Africa where it can also be grown has had crackdowns on child labor. Ghana relies on cocoa for about a sixth of their income and the Ivory Coast produced about 30% of the world's total cocoa. Number 9. Sekaichi Apples These larger than normal apples are typically found in Japan and the name translates to the best in the world. Some of these massive apples can grow up to be about 2 pounds in some rare cases and that's quite a bit of food. The skin can be typically red and yellowish while the others are just full red. The taste has been described as sweet yet mild with a little bit of tartness too. The texture is mainly firm and juicy. The largest one ever grown was a whopping 17 pounds and sold for an unbelievable 6,100 US dollars. Normally they go for about $21 each but it takes a lot of work to make. Hand pollination, washing with honey, and careful watering routines ensures a happy healthy Sekaichi apple. But you better believe it requires a larger price to keep them profitable. You can also get some seeds from eBay if you want to give it a shot in your backyard. Number 8. The Deco Pond Citrus It basically looks like an orange, but just slightly different. It's actually a hybrid between two different Japanese citrus fruits, which includes the Kiyomi and the Pankong. The distinctive sweet taste has made it amazingly popular. You can tell it's truly a Deco Pond Citrus with a large protruding bump. The majority of these are grown in the south with warmer climates such as Hiroshima. Each fruit must meet certain requirements before they can be sold. The food is genetically engineered for good reasons as opposed to the way genetically modified foods are in the US, which typically prefers quantity over quality. The Japanese seem to take their fruit very seriously and they're bred for a sweet flavor with lower citric acid levels. The price is a little bit higher though, with each one costing about $8 a piece. Number 7. English Pineapples Pineapples grow only in tropical places by the beach, right? Or is that what you thought? Turns out the English found a way to grow them on their own home soil, despite the non-tropical climate in Northern Europe. Grown in the Lost Gardens of Heligan, these interesting methods include putting seeds underneath straw, horse manure, and urine. This is known as one of the Victorian techniques and intense labor is required. It takes two whole years to grow and some pineapple varieties might even take five years to grow. But hold on, why are they soaked in urine and manure? Although they never actually come into contact with the horse waste, it's actually used to create a warm environment, kind of like how you'd find in Hawaii. The pineapples seem to be fit for a king or a queen and can sell for around 10,000 pounds each. 
Most of the time though, the person who pays for them expects a little bit of that to go to charity. Number 6. Moondrop Grapes Moondrop grapes are a pretty rare type of grape that's mainly found at whole food markets and other locations across the country. There's a reported three total locations in the state of California and Georgia, and the rest of the country would be lucky to have one shop with moon grapes in their state. Despite their weird shape, they claim that their grapes are not genetically modified, but very selectively chosen to have a longer shape. Requiring longer periods of sunlight than most grapes, having them hang in the sun after being picked tends to make them a little bit sweeter. Hard work is also put into keeping them from being damaged from rainfall, which has made critics rave about their extraordinary taste. What's the price for these grapes from out of this world? They're hard to find, and we're not really sure how much they are, but due to high demand, we'd expect them to be pretty expensive. Number 5. Yubari King Another hybrid fruit on this list, the Yubari King might be the king of all cantaloupes. It's made in special greenhouses in southern Japan in a small city known as Sapporo. It's a mix of Earl Favorite and Burpee Spicy Cantaloupe combining the two different cultivators. In order for it to be considered a high quality, it must be perfectly round or it won't compete for a spot on the shelves for melons in Japan. Number 4. The Fruits of the None of It Imagine living in a part of the world where no fruit can possibly be grown. You can't really use horse manure either like the British help you out. The icy remote lands of the None of It territory make many prices on imports extremely high to the point where you might stop even eating fruit. Grapes sell for roughly over 13 Canadian dollars per kilogram and 5 Canadian dollars per kilogram for bananas. But food protests broke out in Canada partially due to this ridiculous ad for $26 orange juice. People here typically pay twice the price that Canadians do in the rest of the country, and some believe it's racially motivated. The Inuits were an independent nation before the Europeans arrived and gathered much of their food from the ocean or frozen lakes. They must have survived a long time without any fruit at all. So many are unsure why they need to feel compelled to spend such high prices on food. Obviously though, it's not easy to get all the way up there, a large majority of the food must be flown in. Some online campaigns have mocked the high prices to bring attention to the whole ordeal in the north. Number 3. Organic Fruits There have been many debates in recent times as to whether or not the organic variety of fruits are worth the cost or not. The term organic has been used to express a lack of unnatural pesticides and genetic modifications, when usually they're not only more expensive, but can also be misleading in some cases. Calling something like organic cane juice, for example, is a fancy way of saying organic sugary syrup. Organics are a $26 billion industry, and just being able to throw the word organic onto something doesn't always change the fact that it could be hazardous to your health. However, it's a little bit different with meat, fruit, and vegetables. They're beginning to charge us more if we want to have natural fruit the way it should be. It requires more work to keep bugs off the fruit, and it shows that you're more likely supporting a local farmer instead of a corporation like Monsanto. Number 2. Designer Fruits you're probably used to paying pretty cheap prices for bananas, so you might be a little bit curious what a banana would taste like if it cost $6 each. You'd be expecting some pretty good bananas, right? Once again, in Japan, you probably noticed a trend where designer fruits are very popular. The company Dole created what was known as the Gokusen Banana. They took all the genetics from the best possible bananas they could find, combined them together for a super banana which is considered to be superior. Some bloggers didn't really know how to describe it, and it just seemed as though it was a little bit more banana-y than other bananas. They described it as being a little bit more dense, with a slight hint of sourness. This photo here shows the dull banana, which is individually wrapped, and it almost looks perfect. Would you be willing to give it a try for 6 bucks? Well, too bad. You can't. It was only for a limited time back in 2013. You have to wonder when Louis Vuitton will start making their own designer bananas. And number one, the Mirabelle Plum. This definitely isn't your average plum and you definitely won't find it in the US because it's banned here. It's a specialty of Lorraine in Eastern France and cultivated from a wild fruit originally found in Turkey. Why can't you eat them anywhere else in the world? It's just a fruit, right? It shouldn't be banned in other countries, should it? Many countries have agreed not to sell them in order to keep France's Mirabelle Plum economy intact. One of those countries is right here in the USA. There are two different types of plums, the one from the city of Metz and the other from the city of Nancy. The type found in Metz is more suitable for making jelly, jam, or preserves, and the type from the city of Nancy tends to enjoy the fruit fresh. It's promoted by the EU as a great product for other EU countries to enjoy. You can also make pretty good alcohol with it. 
So if you could get in the US on the black market somehow, it could be pretty profitable. 